Bwana asifiwe. Amen. Hallelujah Church District. God is good and all the time and that is his nature. Wow. Nimeokoka na furahi na dhambi zangu zimetoka. Bwana atukuzwe. It is the in thing now. It is a powerful song and we bless the name of the Lord for that. Uh, kwa kweli nimeokoka na furahi sio uongo na mnaona hivyo. <laughs> yesu ni mwema naitwa njoki wa buru huyu ambaye ameketi hapa na ninampenda yesu uh, kumbe chat district tuko wengi hivyo kumbe tuko wengi hivyo eh, sasa hata kabla elder wa wachangamsho wa wapigie simu mimi ndio nitakuwa nikwambia tunapata nanga pale juu <laughs> na ni vyema God is good. Truly he has been faithful in my heart and I thank God because of this kind of a service and having the opportunity to share the word. Um, I was looking into today and I was scared of it. It is such a long day for me. It is started at 4 a.m. And now here we are. And after that to Embakasi PCA church to speak to the women's guild. Don't you think it's a long day for me? <laughs> it is truly a long day for me. But I know God is faithful and he will continue walking with me. Let us pray that we may be able to share the word of God. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we come before thy presence of mercy. We bless your name, Jehovah. We worship you and we honor you. Thank you because of who you are. Thank you, King of all glory, for gathering us here as church district. And all the visitors and guests that we have, oh dear Lord, and even the people who are following us online. We pray that you may bless us, Jehovah God, as we partake of your word. King of all glory, you may minister unto us, O Jehovah God, as we think uh, in, of unity, Jehovah, and maturity, Jehovah God, in you, dear Lord. As I speak this word, Jehovah, I pray to be used of you, dear Lord. I'm never able, I cannot be able to do it without you, dear Father, unless, Jehovah God, you come through for me. I bless your name and I worship you. All oh, interferences, Jehovah Redeemer, we come against them in the name of Jesus. The time that we'll be sharing this word, dear Father, we pray that you may give us calmness and peace, oh dear Lord. For it is in Jesus' holy name that we do pray and even believe. Amen, amen and amen. I bless the name of the Lord for this kind of a service. I have so much feedback to give. <laughs> na ninaona kama hata ile ibanda ya kawaida. Tutakuwa tunasimama, tunasema if you have a presentation from wherever, just come. I didn't know we can do that good. And that is awesome. People who are singing so well. Thank you so much and God bless you. Wale ambao wametoka Mayu, afadhali mama yenu awaambie mimi ni part ya familia yenu. She better tell you that I'm the daughter who came in when you left. <laughs> And I am the Kenyan mother to Stephanie. Now you know. <laughs> so it is a wonderful day. Our topic today, rather the theme as I am guided, is about um, unity and maturity in the body of Christ. Buona sifiwe. Unity and maturity in the body of Christ. And truly, the leaders have uh, le read it so well for us. And I thank God for such a blessing. Looking into Acts chapter 2, verse 42 to 47. And um, the Bible, my, my Bible, the Bible that I'm reading today, gives it a subtopic or a theme, a topic of a generous and a growing church. Buona sifiwe. There is no way growth will ever come in if there is no generosity. Buona sifiwe. And when there is generosity, I want us to know this one thing, that growth does not only come to the church, but it also comes to the giver. Buona sifiwe. It is two way. Growth, when it comes, it not only comes to the church, but it also comes to the giver. And what the word of the Lord is teaching us, it is teaching us about people, the apostles who lived together, who walked together, who cared and minded about each other. It's such a nice theme. It's such a nice topic when we are in the tiniest level of the church that is the district. 
Bwana asifiwe. And the Bible says these people devoted if you understand the true meaning of the word the word devote, you know devoting all devoted watu ambao walijitolea watu ambao walijipeana Bwana asifiwe. Na walijipeana kwa hali na mali na tutapata kujua hivyo in a few minutes and the Bible says they devoted themselves one thing to the teachings Hello they devoted themselves to the teachings so what does that what does that mean what does that, that does that statement mean that statement simply and clearly means that these people followed the teachings to the latter walifuatilia mafunzo ambayo walikuwa wamefunzwa hadi mwisho bwana asifiwe unajua saa zingine sisi huwa tunasahau na mafunzo vile ambavyo tumefunzwa unasahau na unafanya kinyume vile ambavyo nimefunzwa nasahau na ninafanya kinyu nafanya kinyume bwana asifiwe you know on radio in the morning i was talking about that there is nothing impossible with god and one of the texts that i was reading <laughs> was in Luke 18 and um, the bible says that uh, Jesus Christ told someone who really desired and wanted to know God akamwambia sasa akamkumbusha the 10 commandments and he told Jesus I have been doing all this <laughs> and after that Jesus Christ told him now go sell everything that you have and all these things that, that you sell don't invest elsewhere go give to the poor <laughs> Hello Bwana asifiwe eh ukiuza usiende kuwekesha na huku sijui wapi broti maguta maguta share that with the poor Bwana asifiwe that is a teaching of the lord are we really able to follow that and follow that to the latter now as we continue the bible says that these people were devoted if you are ever to experience unity and maturity in the body of christ we must be devoted to the teachings am i talking to somebody am i saying anything If we are to experience unity and maturity in church district in the church in Christianity we must exercise all the teachings that we have been taught and the teachings that we know Bwana asifiwe The Bible says that not only that but everyone was filled with awe that is amazement what walishanga and many wonders and signs were being performed through the apostles why because they were following the teachings to the latter because they were united that is a simple statement that when we are devoted when we follow the teachings to the latter the bible promises of one thing that many things wonders and signs were being performed will be performed through us the moment we become united the moment we become one the bible father says that now all the believers were together and hold, held all things in common higher sasa hapo ndio maneno hapa ndio maneno inaanzia verse 45 says they sold their positions possessions and property and distributed the proceeds to all as they had need bwana asifiwe kimeumana nita kwanyita na hanini bwana asifiwe they sold all the possessions and property and distributed the proceeds to all as they had need hawa ni watu ambao walikuwa wamependana hawa ni watu ambao walikuwa wameshikana ni kama ni wakati ambao watoto wanarudi shule mtoto wangu hana pesa ni, ya, ya, ni sina pesa ya kulipia mtoto wangu school fees niende kwa Cyrus na Triza demu ana ni moyo jali dale na fidhi mwenyite galio yanyu mwedie mumenye rajeli ya kudhoma Hello It's as simple as that Hello 
Kwa sababu Triza na Cyrus ni wako na kakitu kati yetu, wasike hako wauze. Mimi wa school fees ni pewa ya school fees, mwenye hana ya kula apewa ya kukula, mwenye hana ya kulipa nyumba apewa ya kulipa nyumba, mwenye hana ya nguo apewa ya nguo. Is that what the, not what the Bible says? The Bible says they shared <laughs> as they had need. Ama ni Biblia yangu inasema hivyo. You know maybe it is my Bible <laughs> that says so. All this was happening among the apostles because they were united. Because they loved each other. Mimi sita kuuliza kama unaweza fanya hivyo kwa sababu ni ngumu. Ni uko hendeli ya nyumba ya Gainadi kweda. Sitaki unidanganye katika nyumba ya Bwana. But Basically, what the word of the Lord is teaching us is that there is unity in sharing. Whenever we share what it is that the Lord, has God, provide, the Lord God has provided unto us, it brings more unity, it brings more warmth, it brings more strength in the fellowship and in the church of Christ. They literally sold what it is that they had. Wanauza kila kitu yenye wako nayo, wanaekelea kwa meza moja, wachakula na chukua chakula, wakulipa nyuma na chukua ya nyumba, wakulipa school fees, mwenye akona shida na kulipa hospitali, na hospitali ya nalipa, ya na chukua yake. And they lived in unity. Yesterday, before even I knew this is what I will be speaking about, eh? I was always going through, unajua internet squeeze kona mambo mingi. I came across like a story about some people that I can't, re- I can't remember what they are called, but it's a community in Tanzania. It is the only community from what I read that is remaining of hunters and gatherers. They are at most 1,500 to 2,000, a whole community. See how angry evil. And uh, what I picked that I can relate to this someone is that while well, there, it is women who own properties in that community. It is women who build houses. Na kama hawasikizani na mzee, anaeza murusha inja rudi kwa mama yake. Sorry. <laughs> when I see that castoria, I share it in the church, church, church district group. But that, okay, that was an interesting bit. Wanawake endio wanajenga. <laughs> na akisha ajenga, mzee kireta shida anaeza mfukuza rudi kwa mama yake. <laughs> Okay, now, what I'm, the, the thing that I picked from it that I'm relating to this uh, sermon is that they are usually helped a lot by the UN, you know, by different organizations. And what there is is that if you want to donate to them, any gift that you want to give to someone in that community, you don't give a, give a gift to a single, a particular person that you give me a gift, no, or I give Teresa, no, or I give Lucy, no. You don't give a gift to an individual person. If you are giving, you must give enough, and that gift is given to a particular leader who shares that gift to everyone else. So if you are giving, just give enough. That will be enough for every person <laughs> who is within that karokarity. Are you getting what I'm saying? And this story tells me, rather reads, that these people are so united. Actually, they like almost know each other, all of them, 1,500 plus, because of their aspect of sharing. Buona sifiwe. Sio kama wale tumekuwa thome miaka yote, church district miaka yote, na ukiuna mtu inogu wanaga goko. <laughs> Yuri wa goko. Eh. They really know each other. And they live in, you know, in the, people, if you hear people are hunters and gatherers, just know they live in the forest. In fact, they are the only people with permission up to now in Tanzania to hunt. Nobody else is around. Hakuna mtu ingine anakubaliwa kubinda wanyama, except them. But that aspect of that if you have to gift anyone anything in that community, you give it to the leader, where the leader shares that portion with everyone. And this brings a lot of unity. Just like we are learning today. That during the days of the apostles, they sold their possessions not to reinvest, not for personal benefit, but to share to everyone according to their need. mungida ivo tunaka attitude. Usimwambie kitu. Wewe mwangalie tuna ka attitude. Hivyo <laughs> tuna wachane na yeye. That is what the Bible says. Every day they devoted themselves to meeting together in the temple. 
and broke bread from house to and they, they broke bread from house to house and ate their food with joyful and sincere hearts bona sifiwe kila siku walipatana kwa kanisa the temple then and the bible says that these people they broke together to the bread together from house to house and ate their food with joyful and sincere hearts why is the bible reminding us of sincere hearts today mbona neno linatukumbusha juu ya moyo ambao umefunguka siku ya leo kwa sababu watu wamejaa kwa nyumba ya bwana watu wamejaa katika familia lakini maroho zimefungana nda ohiga 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 bwana asifiwe kusema ukweli tu katika boma unaweza kaanga na upike chapati na nyama na upakue tu na ukule na unajua dugu yako hata watoto hana kitu ya kuwapea in the same neighborhood ate nyumba itirale manera tipo mukiuga na gikoyo nyumba itirale katia itirale mane koko kapo gadie githeri hello bona asifiwe unity and maturity in the body of christ ama kwenu githeri haikuwa inaganda kitambo hadi inaoshwa shuari na kuna mtu kwa jirani hajakula lakini unaweka githeri inaganda hadi unaosha kudhabia githeri kiheu roho sio gogo koja mbona leo uru leo gaini akokuwa hera na kabla tufike hapo kuna mboma ambayo watoto hawana chakula watu wamelala njaa lakini yako unaweka kwa sababu usiku hizo hakukuanga na fridge na wengine hawakujua ile traditional way of preserving my grandmother who died at 100 years the other day <laughs> knew how to really preserve anakausha kabisa 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 inakauka <laughs> ikikauka hiyo itakaaka wengine ambao hawajui wanaweka pamoja na maji gotire kedo kero takio hakuna kitu baya kama hiyo na todoraga ndio kusho kodha bilia ciana ciaku na irie no kore yo nenda tondu ni raimiria ri angi hello unity and maturity in the body of christ This is what the Lord is teaching us today. These people ate together. These people shared everything together. They ate their food with joyful and sincere hearts. Roho ambayo imefunguka kabisa. Hakuna mtu anaweza jifitia mwingine. You know nowadays, ni zile tunaambiwa hata unakomesha mtoto unamwambia nisikie umepewa kitu na mtu ukakula wewe. Nisikie tu kidogo. Niyo hairo kedo ni mudo walia. Todo ramu eho kanwa korogere mwana. Hello unaona venye mnaniangalia You there you looking at me it's like the, it's the first time it has come men, been mentioned <laughs> you are looking at me I am your mambo huenda yes you really give you know warnings and warnings and warnings to your children they are you nisikie umekula kitu nisikie umeingia kwa gari ya mtu nisikie umesima hizo oh this you know hizo hizo ni nyozo zote tunapea watoto mikane yoyote tora hesia na sitore tora maheniki because of how things are in the society today bwana sifiwe bwana sifiwe other is kitambo wakati watu walikuwa watu nikubalia kusema hivyo lele ado male ado hello wakati watu walikuwa wa when people were happy when human beings were you yes when human beings were human hata mtoto alikwanga wa kijiji Leo jaribu kuguza wa mtu uone. Oko dukurara kwa sivu. Bwana sifiwe because we have lacked unity and maturity in the body of Christ. And you know choices have consequences. That is why you cannot stop anyone's child from doing bad. That is why you can you, that is why you know even the young people around us watafanya tu mambo kwa barabara akikuona tu na darama ka I'm a village girl and I usually say I'm a typical village girl nio ukisagi dogenyo maona muge katia hata muombe ona muge higa nio ukisagi dogenyo ma mimi ile ugeshagi ule haiezi ni die tikiretio kuna ikrovia haria mutu iguru jage kuriria ati todo hatire mundu wako duera it is that bad <laughs> hello it is that bad 
And in the village then, kama tunacheza kwa barabara tunacheza kati ama boys wanacheza mpira, if you see an adult passing by, you stop. No matter at what point. Do you remember that? Mabontao kwetu kulikuanga hivyo. Wale ambao hawakumbuki kulikuanga hi hivyo. You stop, you literally stop. Hiyo mpira inashikwa na mtu mmoja ama anakanyanga hivi? Unakumbuka eh Cyrus? Anakanyanga? Mtu apite. Ni mzazi tu wa kawaida wa Itora. Wengi wana nemura hivi. Lakini mnasimamisha kwanza afanye nini? Heshima iliyoko wakati yule. But today iko by kurige na guo. Na kisha wapote. Where's your nata nani? Hello? Bwana asifiwe. Because with time we have lacked unity and maturity in the body of Christ. When you look at all these things, you understand the reason as to why the word of God is reminding us today. Even in the, at the level of the church, at the level of the district, why we should cultivate more on unity and maturity in Christ. Bwana asifiwe. The Bible says these people ate in style. Praising God and enjoying the favor of all the people. Bwana asifiwe. Praising God and enjoying the favor of all the people. Wanakura tu kwa furaha. Wanagawanya tu ile kitu mungu wamewabariki nayo. In happiness and in joy. Unajua kuna kastori kana peyanangwa? mtu ambaye alikuwa mchoyo na nitakapeana kwa haraka ndio niende kwa Ephesians <laughs> mtu mchoyo tu unapika kastu yako vizuri unaspika vizuri todego na tonyama una unapika una mzuri na inanukia mzuri kwa hivyo inavutia watu kutoka mbali labda kaka story of course umekasikia na mtu mmoja tu akijiji anasikia he he kundu kwa nuka tonyama <laughs> anajua ni kwa furani na nitaingia kwa sababu mwenye kupika ni mchoyo <laughs> Anatoa haraka haraka imeiva na naeka pale chini kwa kabati. Sijui kama kwani kulikuanga na ile kabati mama alikuwa anafunga ati anapika chapati anafunga lakini hakumbuki hii kitu ya juu tunavuruta. Hiyo <laughs> 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 kabati. <laughs> Nani kama ametanuka siku hizi sisi yonangi. <laughs> mama yangu alikuwa anapika chapati. Hawezi <laughs> jua hawa. Wanapiki yangu zinaeka hapo zote. Magasi yerole ni hanyi mutisha basi ni dhahafu. Mama anapika chapati, anaeka kwa kabati na anafu. Na anafungilia fungua hapa kwa leso. Alafu anaenda. Ile kitu hakumbuki. Kile kikitu kia hapa juu. Unatua kiote unaeka kando. Wewe unajua venye utapikia nini? Utafikia nini? Mamu koro wake ino kama. Aka tarasha fazi. Jiu maiko mi. Ne ibano. <laughs> Na nilikuwa nimefunga. Kwa nikulienda aje. Kai. Mwadha nitu wakere mehi ya mamu ya. Anaheza buja. Sisi likuwa kumi. Na nilifunga. Na hedo wako higeta ginyaliko. <laughs> Na sasa ni tano. Kwani kulienda? Na kidroa yako unarudisha vizuri. <laughs> unarudisha vizuri. <laughs> unarudisha vizuri. Corruption haijaanzia leo hii Kenya. <laughs> Yuko ngonjo ni kali lazima tuombe sana. <laughs> Kama yenye wanapora serikali ni wale walipora chapati basi tuko na shida. Tuko na shida kubwa. <laughs> Hello. So going back to my story. <laughs> This man, this lady who was mchoyo, <laughs> anapika tu katoyo, kitoyo kazuri, anaficha pale chini. Haya, kijana naingia, mzia naingia. Aga kirea story, anapeana story, uigwete siyansa, unasikia kuna endaje, e, mafuta, sijui barabara, sijui maandamano. Unajua mtu wanaomba chakuna na kuanga na story mingi sana. <laughs> Analeta story mingi, story mingi, story mingi. Aka fika mahali, aka ona hiki toyo, sita ekewa. Aka mwambie unajua kwa mama furani kulikuwa na nyoka. Ah, nyoka. Eh, nerali dai hu. Ila umeta ha ha, ginya hali ya hetu ili otoli ya tora hatoga. Ila ali da 
yu kuma no na ale aratoka to irio toria hau sema generosity unity and maturity in the body of Christ it is what we are lacking now every day sasa mtu akiona chakula mahali inatoa moshi unaweza mnyima si ni afadhali tu mtolee and finally brethren the bible says every day the lord added to their number those who are being saved because of unity and generosity bwana asifiwe kila siku mungu aliongezea wale ambao walikuwa wanaokoka kwa sababu waliona ushirika waliona upendo ambao the apostles had amongst themselves bwana asifiwe unity is the fastest gospel is the most effective gospel that can attract more numbers into our fellowship unity and generosity and remember what we said that when you give generosity and growing usually go hand in hand if you are generous to the church it is not only the church that will grow but you yourself also at a personal level you will grow bwana asifiwe kitabu cha waefeso moja waefeso 4 kuanzia moja hadi sita. The Bible says in fellowship we should also learn how to bear with one another because we are gifted differently we have different gifts we have blessed we are blessed differently and the bible starts by saying Ephesians chapter 2 uh, verse 1 to 6 and you Ephesians chapter 4 the bible starts by saying therefore I the prisoner of the Lord I urge you to live worthy of the calling you have received Bwana asifiwe the calling that we have received is the calling of unity is the calling of generosity is the calling of love Bwana asifiwe So if we are going to live according to this calling we must observe all these aspects Bwana asifiwe You have received with all humility and gentleness and patience bearing with one another in love making every effort to keep the unity Oma na gereria i rogedo ine eda na gai more vero ine koke kage amodo kamwa morania Moka ya na oge moti kanata ho where is the church splitting every day why are fellowships splitting every day not like the splitting that elder kadoki was telling us that splitting is godly where we are so many and because of easy or is you know ease of management we split to be managed in smaller groups but why why in church can people can people have a conversation and speak in one voice we are coming from a very intense political season and it is bad it feels a lot of pain where the voice of the church can no longer be listened to in this country because there is no unity bwana asifiwe when i was growing up eh uh, I found of course president the late Moi and all I can remember during his time is that he went to AIC ka Kabarak hiyo nakumbukanga AIC and the first item in news every prime news was where Mo, especially on Sunday evening was where Moi was and what the church leadership said wale ambao ni waenzi zangu mnakumbuka hiyo unajua kuna wengine hawezi ringanisha hata yes we excuse them what i'm trying to the point i'm trying to bring home is that when the church could stand and make one voice unlike today 
when huyu anasema hivi huyu anasema vile because of selfish and personal interests and here paul he knew this and that is why he was telling the church of christ therefore i the prisoner of the lord urge you to live a life worthy of the calling you have received muangalie mwenzako muulize are you living a life worthy of the calling unfortunately some of us do not even know whether they have a calling or not may god help us mwambie mwenzako there is a calling mm mwambie there is a calling mm unajua mimi nikiona watu kama hawasikii na kutumia huyu wako karibu na wewe afikishe ripoti that's why you should tell people talk to each other mwambie kuna there is a calling kuna mwito kuna mwito unajua wazee wa PCMF akinita akinita e akinita nitafanya yes kuna mwito there is a calling but are we as christians living a life worthy of the calling that is what the lord god is asking us today that is why he has called us to the level of district ndio tukitoka tuende tukijiuliza are we living a life worthy of the calling ama tuliwasha moto unajua tuko na dhimi keep the fire burning it must not labda tulizima kitambo kama umezima kama nimezima kama tumezima God will always give us another chance. Reignite the fire that we may continue staying, fellowshipping, worshiping in unity. And this will bring growth to us and not only to us but also to church as well. Bwana sifiwe. The Bible talks about bearing with one another in love. Ukisikia mahali kumeandikwa neno bearing in love with one another ni ujue sisi wote hatutoshani we are not the same whatever it is that you are strong in i'm not strong in that whatever it is that i'm strong in you are not strong in that you have your own strengths i have my own strength you have your own weaknesses i have my own weaknesses but with love we should bear with each other and grow together as a church bwana sifiwe Sio mambo ya msongomano kwa kanisa. Huyu hata akiongoza hakutenda vizuri. Huyu hata akimbisha pambio hakutenda vizuri. Sasa nani yeye anahubiri siku ya leo? Ile kitu mwingine anaweza fanya wewe hauwezi fanya. Ni edi getweka we. We do getweka nie. Ndio wetu radhime to na yeo mwanya mwanya reke mudo arogame. Hale ahake. Twetere ile gayoyo. Nie digetweka we na wetu getweka nie. Deke mudu aroga me hale haka twetere ile o. Gayoyo tutugatagira. That is simply what the bible says bearing with each other with love whatever it is yenye mtu anaweza kufanya na afanye kwa nguvu kabisa support them to do it whatever it is that you can do and do it well i support you in it and definitely we shall experience growth growth in church and in fellowship bwana sifiwe most importantly making every effort underline that making every effort to keep the unity because united we stand divided we do what we fall above everything else making every effort to keep the unity in the name of the father the son and the holy spirit na tuombe father god in the name of jesus we come before thy presence of mercy 
We thank you, dear Lord, for who you are. You are loving, you are powerful, you are caring, you are able. Thank you for speaking to us, dear Lord. Thank you for really whispering your love into us, Jehovah. Thank you for reminding us, Jehovah God, about unity and Christian maturity, Jehovah. You have ministered unto us of all the aspects, dear Lord, godly aspects, Jehovah, that we need to apply, Jehovah God, that we may have unity and growth in church. We bless your name and we worship you. Mahali ambapo umepata mungu tumekosea tunaomba msamaha. Tukiomba weze kutembea nasi kama church district. Even in our homes, oh dear Lord. We pray that you may help us continue bearing with each other. We continue praying that you may help us, uh, you know, king of all glory, stay together in unity, dear Lord. As husbands and wives, dear Lord. King of all glory, as parents and children, dear father. Even with our relatives, oh dear Lord. We pray for your unity. When the family is united, even the church is united. We are never able to do all this, Jehovah, unless we are guided of you. We bless your name. We worship you, King of all glory. How we pray that you may help us continue cultivating on this for your glory and honor. For it is in Jesus' holy name that we do pray and even believe. Amen. God bless you.